Hey, all right, we're getting ready to um, make this, um, what kind of silver I'm making? Um, I'm making um, corn silk soap. Never made corn silk soap, so I'm doing that today. Make sure I don't have any wet spots in my soap mold here. Making a corn silk soap today um, with oatmeal and um, here we go. This is my, um, the corn silk is mixed in my lye and everything is cooled down. I let everything cool down to room temperature because I just wanted to, I don't know how it's going to act if it's going to get real hot. So I wanted it to be perfect. <laughs> My oil solidified. Well, it's not solidified, but it started getting a little thick because it's been sitting here getting to room temperature. So here we go. This is a very expensive batter, so it's probably going to be um, just for personal use. Unless somebody comes to me wanting to buy it, and, and I will sell it to them. But just so you don't, you guys know. Ooh, it's getting thick already. <laughs> take forever but I didn't expect it to because I let it cool all the way down I thought it would take longer to get to um, um, trace as we call it when it thickens up but it's pretty uh, pretty thick there <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and put my, my scent in. I'll try and get as much out of it out of here as I can. I don't like to waste anything. stir this for a little while to make sure that my um, scent goes all the way around. I'm sure the mixer did fine, but it doesn't hurt. Cannot wait to try this. I mean, corn silk. Um, you got to look up corn silk and look at all of the benefits of corn silk. I mean, people make tea with it. Um, it has great benefits. It's good for your heart. Um, I think I read somewhere that it was good for your blood pressure. Um, and of course, it's silky smooth on your skin, from what I understand. So I am looking forward to making completing this make and 
um, it, it um, getting ready to use, which is going to be six weeks from today. And here is my oatmeal. I'm going to add my oatmeal. It's pretty packed in here, so let me grab a spoon. It's pretty packed. I'm not going to put all this oatmeal in there. It might be a little bit of overkill. But I wanted to make sure I had plenty so I could uh, kind of garnish it on the top with it when I'm when I'm done. But as I think about it, I think I want to put the whole oats on top. I'm going to garnish it with oatmeal and some of the corn husk. I don't know how that's going to work out, but I'm going to try it anyway. Wow, that's a lot of oatmeal and look how much I have in this. <laughs> it's still a lot in here. So I think I'm going to chill with that for a bit. I might be adding more. I'll have to see how it looks when I get it all mixed in. I love, love, love oatmeal soup. And I have so many variations of oatmeal soup. This is warming up a little bit. I guess I can put a little bit more in here. It's not too much. Yeah, I'll put a little more in here. Mm -hmm. And just um, to let you know, the types of oils that I use in the soap, I, you know me, I like to use as, as few ingredients as possible. So I used, um, of course, shea butter. Shea butter goes in almost every bar of soap I make. So I use um, shea butter. Um, aloe vera butter, aloe vera butter, and um, castor oil, and that's it, as far as my oils and butters, and um, of course they all have some rich benefits for, for soap, I'm going to add a little bit of um, vitamin E to this. so creamy and the more I look at this the more excited I am about trying this corn silk I do use um, I use silk in my soaps but I use um, regular pure silk I use um, um what is it Tus um, Tusla I think it is Tussa Tussa silk I use Tussa silk Mulberry silk. Um, I have a couple different silks that I use and recently heard about corn silk. So I just had to try this corn silk. So, all right. Uh, a piece of husky now. I don't know how I got there. Wait a minute. Let me make sure. There might be a stain in there. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to try to pour it so you can see how creamy this looks it looks deliciously creamy Wait a minute. this is going to be a full Ooh, I might have a little extra here So, it looks like I have a little extra. So, if, um, yep, I got a little extra. So, I'm going to say, um, first person to comment, I'm going to send you a bar. First person to comment on the video and the process, I'm going to send you a bar of this soap. Go ahead.
All right, so the extras I'm going to make hearts. Get these cavities out. I'm going to store it for a minute, so. Make a couple of hearts. Yeah. But like I said, you have to comment if you want that free bar. Hey, if you have any questions, let me know too. I do answer questions that I can answer, I'll say that. And if it's something that I can't answer pertaining to soap, I will definitely get the answer. So it looks like I'm going to get three uh, hearts out of this. I have a contest later on. Ooh, that rain is coming down. It looks like, yep, looks like I'm going to get three of them out of here. So I'll have three hearts. And we will decide what we're going to do with these three hearts. Well, at least two of them. Because if you comment on this post, you will get a free bar. If you are the first one, I'll say. Again. I'll add the rest of this to the top. That's going to be pretty, pretty full. <laughs> I absolutely love making soap. Like, this is, like, so satisfying. I absolutely love it. I think I got everything out of here. Yep, got it all. So we're going to do pat that down, pat this down, smooth this out a little bit. bit left so scrape that off and I usually take little bits like that and use it in my kitchen when it gets a little more solid I'll make it into a ball and put it over there with the rest of my little soap balls uh -oh, wait a minute Look at that. Almost perfect. This, this one can use a little bit more. Oh, no, no, no. What did I do here? There we go. Let's move that back out. Look at that. Those pretty little hearts. Let me put all this together so I can have one big piece. Mm -hmm. Now for the uh, garnishing. I am somewhat of a perfectionist and I can't stand it sometimes and um, so I try to make my little um, indentations perfect which is not necessary but 
I just like to. I think I'm just going to do one side. I'm not going to mess with the other side. And sprinkle my little, I don't know, I want to put whole oats. One moment. Where are my whole oats? We'll be using the powder, powder oats. It will still look good. So what I'll do is let this set, and any extra, I'll just blow it off of there and go from there. Take my little um. Husks and sprinkle a little bit on the top. I don't know how this is going to turn out because I've never made this before, but I'm hoping it just gives it a an effect. I'm only doing it for effect, like it's not going to do anything and it's going to come off the first time you use it in the shower anyway, or the first time, yeah, it's used. It'll come off. Oh. All right, and there you have it. My oatmeal and corn uh, silk soap. Yum. Post your comments, let me know what you think. Sorry it's so dry and quiet, like I did um, set up to have music playing, but for some reason it didn't come on. So, it is what it is. I can't control all of that. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll come back next time I do one. Thank you.